So, um, yeah, I've heard of people who can actually go number two in the woods and use snow yes. instead of toilet paper. Is that true? That is true. Yes, it's quite refreshing, actually. Yeah, you, it has to be the right snow conditions, of course. Uh, what are the snow conditions, I have to ask? The, the, the snow conditions that are prime for snowball, um, hockey puck style um, execution uh, is approximately between minus three and minus five. That gives you a good snowball effect of the snow. Um, packing ability is key so that when you're using it, um, it doesn't break apart and then all you have left is your hand. So, um, is there a particular shape? Yes, yes. You definitely want a cylinder, of, or no, sorry, circular, like a hockey puck. Okay. And then you can actually use it more than once. So you wipe, rotate, right? Rotate. You oh, don't... so you're using the edge of the hockey yes. puck. Not yeah. the flat surfaces. No, no, okay. that, would, that would be very difficult unless you had very wide. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I, these are all tips that are useful to new people like me, right? Yes, yes. So between minus minus two and minus five, I would suggest giving it a try. What about? Whoa, that's that's kind of annoying. What about warmer, like plus five? Yeah, pl plus five, plus five. You need to be careful because then you get that uh, icicle snow that's very coarse, and, and uh, is, how's that a problem? Well, it's a sensitive area, so you want you want the snowball to be as as gentle as more flaky more like w moss than sharp yes ice crystals yes you want it when it when it when it touches your your bottom you want it to slightly melt and then afterwards once you're all once you've wiped your last snowball and uh it comes clean then you you can say hurrah do a little air dry mm -hmm. and then you just pull your pants up and, you, and it's refreshing so would you recommend like um <laughs> getting four or five snowballs already. That's a good point. That's yeah. a very excellent point. Yes, pre-making your snowballs is key. Have them lined up, mm -hmm. ready to be used. Yeah. And then and then once you're done with your snowball, you just chuck it behind you so that uh, you don't have, you don't mistake it for a fresh oh, snow, snowball. Oh yeah, yeah, or like a wagon wheel or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, something other useful, something yeah. in the snow, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Thanks for all those. Are there uh, any more questions? Those helpful too. Now, is this, is it, um, now this may be a bit of a personal question. Uh, being inexperienced in, in being a, a woman, I, I, I uh, <laughs> You I, don't I, wear I, makeup like Kevin? Not as much, um, and not as often. <laughs> but, uh, so would you use the snow, um, you know, uh, wipes on, both uh, parts of your anatomy. For me personally, I just like the shake and go. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, like a just like a male, but I might shake a little bit longer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So all right. So it's um, kind of like a a, a uh, an osprey that's uh, dove into the ah. water and uh, comes up <laughs> about ten feet. A little shake. Yeah. Off, off you go. Off you go. <laughs> yeah. Just like an osprey. A full, a full body shake sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, I give it, well, it's more like a lower torso jiggle. Okay. <laughs> or wiggle. Okay. It's kind of like, like, just like I wiggle, not jiggle. Is this kind of like a hula girlish on the dashboard or, you know? No, it's a little more aggressive, like a, like an otter out of the water. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for that tip. I, you know, um, for Next people who are gonna dress up. that way gendered. Yeah. Great. And I can coach, you know, my daughters and... and and you don't have to worry about that 100% uh, combustion either of your toilet paper at the end. It's just more environmentally friendly. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Thank you. <laughs> nice chatting with you. Yes. And that's our tip for the day. Uh, tomorrow, polar dipping. See you there.